Hello, this is Raina with Lilo Crafts coming on today with a Saturday Morning Makes. Um, and this is an open collaboration that is hosted by uh, Jill, who is Jillian Norwood here on YouTube. It is an open collaboration where people can share anything that they are working on um, on Saturday morning with people. So um, I will put a link to her channel in the description box below. She is such an incredible maker and such a sweet and kind woman. I would hope that you would go and check her out along with all of the other um, people posting on Saturday Morning Makes. And for this week, I am posting um, and showing uh, what I've been working on, which are these little gingerbread houses. And um, these are just slightly altered from the Dollar Tree. And um, I am making these for my Christmas tree. They even have like a hole in the bottom. So I'll be able to put one of my Christmas lights in them as I set them on the branch and they will light up. So they went from this To this and um, here is my third one so I'm gonna talk you through what I did and then um, I will go ahead and show you how to mint house right here um, so the first thing I did was I bought these vases at the Dollar Tree and um, I just picked up one of each one this one has the least amount of work that you have to do with it which is the cobblestone candy this one is the toy shop and the one I'm going to show you the peppermint village uh, the peppermint house actually took I think the, the most work because it has to be painted but both of these did not have to be painted so what I did was I um, used uh, I was shopping my stash basically to try and use up things that I had on hand so um so one of the things that I had on hand was this diamond dust, which I've had for at least three years that I haven't used. So I used this diamond dust, which is from Flora Craft, and I did buy this, I believe, on Amazon. Um, so I used this to put that really thick, heavy, sugary look on it, and I thought it was the perfect thickness to actually kind of tone down how bright these were so they didn't look so plasticky. The other thing that I used is this Aileen's True Snow, and so I used that to add dimension to um to the house as you can see the snow actually um is sticks out so um so i love 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 that so this i've had for again at least three years and i wanted to use this before it um dried up um and i used different little accents and i got these uh, gumdrops from hobby lobby and they're my little christmas um that i used on this one i also used these uh, my little christmas Christmas little lollipops um, and then some I just took the sticks off to make the swirls uh, for these and right now all of these little goodies are already 50% off at Hobby Lobby so you can make several houses with um, just with just a couple of sets of those okay so the first thing that I did was I worked on um, building the snow up so I used the end of my paintbrush and I built the snow up on all the places where I wanted the snow to be on these so that was the first thing I did the next thing I did was I glittered it all up and I just used glue and I applied it with a paintbrush and um, then uh, to spread the glue out evenly and then I poured the glitter all around and I did even though I decorated only the front because that's the main part that's going to be showing on my tree I did also glitter around the sides because and the back because I did in case it shows through the tree depending on the angle you're at I did want that at least to look sugary and snowy I just love this chunky glitter and then I just hot glued on some of these uh, like gumdrops onto the roof and um, the little candies onto the front. And for these, I built up the snow drifts um, after I glued the lollipops in. And then um, 
And that is really all there is to it. And once I put the snow on and the decorations, I went back in and I glittered over the snow. So that's all you really have to do to get this really fun look for, um, you can use this as a village or you can put them on your tree or these would be even great to put in a tiered tray um, if you were doing a gingerbread theme. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, make one together. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is some paint for the base. And I used this chestnut paint um, this time. Again, I'm using the Aileen's True Snow. I am using Diamond Dust. I've got a, a paintbrush that I is disposable that I got out that I used to put the glue on as well as the snow on and the paint. I am using some uh, beacon glue, and this time I'm using Fabri-Tac, and it is because I ran out of this foam and poster board adhesive by beacon from the Dollar Tree. So I love, 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 love this glue. So this is the glue I would use, but I ran out, so I'm using Fabri-Tac. You need a pair of scissors because you're gonna have to cut off the little um, ends of these little peppermints. You need um, a packet of peppermints and um, I used um, some candy canes. But again, you can decorate with anything. But these are the items that I used for, oh, and a hot glue gun um, for the project today. Okay, so let's talk about the first step. Okay, so the first step that you're gonna do is to paint the base of this house. Um, in this instance, you can see a little bit of the gray is uh, still showing through and I am using this Apple Barrel um, uh, chestnut paint, uh, paint and I'm just getting any old little brush and I'm just going in here and painting out this house. And the reason why I'm painting it a brown is because of course I want it to be like gingerbread in color. So once you've got your um, house um, all painted, then the next thing we're going to do is to, um, to uh, sugar up the roof because I want to turn this house into a peppermint and candy cane house. And so I'm going to be using these little, uh, my little Christmas peppermints on uh, the roof. But it is always easier if you, um, if you glitter it up um, because some of that will show through um, with the peppermints. So I'm just going to apply my glue. So I've got some glue on there and then I'm just gonna use my paintbrush to just uh, spread that all around. And you can use any kind of glitter that you would like, but you definitely do not have to use this kind of glitter. And this project is definitely messy. <laughs> it's definitely messy. Okay, so now I've got my glitter on there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these little peppermints. I'm gonna cut off the little tabs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these peppermints on. And I am just using a little bit of hot glue right on that peppermint and then I'm just putting it right on to the house and I am lining it up by allowing them to sit um, right nestled up uh, next to the eaves of that roof. So I've got those two on and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of my um, peppermints on the house. Okay, I've got all of my peppermints on and the on the top of the roof. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these, two of these little candy canes that we just sugared up, and I'm gonna add them up here to the turret. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna hot glue them in place like this. Okay, so now I've got my little candy canes glued in place, and I just made sure that each um, of the little candy canes was facing in an opposite direction and um, I'm using the turret as the base um, to anchor them to. So I've got my peppermints on, I've got my candy canes on, so that looks super good. And so the next step would be is to add some candy canes onto the house. And so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe put them in front of this window um, the same way. So yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on. 
like that in front of the window. Okay, I've got my candy canes um, glued on in front of the window. Now we're gonna build the snow up here so it'll look like the candy canes are built into the snow. I also think I'm gonna add a gingerbread. I, I, I'm using these little gingerbread stickers that I'm gonna use to add to the house. And so, I think I'm gonna put him right here on the door as if he's coming right on out of the house. Hey, and so now the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna cover this entire house with the glitter. And this is what really helps tone down um, the coloring of it and give it the look that looks very, that looks like this. Just apply, apply glue and um, the the uh, beacon glue from the Dollar Tree is absolutely my favorite glue on here. And then I'm gonna use my paintbrush to spread it out to get into all of the nooks and crannies. Okay, now that I've got glue everywhere for my on my house, I'm just gonna take my glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top. And I'm pouring this over um, a silicone mat. I love to work on a silicone mat. It just rolls up so easy and you can just wash it um, and, um, and be able to just reuse it again. And notice that um, I am glittering up all the surfaces. So now we've got our house all glittered up. You can see all the sides. Um, I love that. And now comes the really fun part. Um, it's just like a paste, so you can see. It's uh, like a paste consistency, and you can use anything to apply it. I'm just using the end of my paintbrush here, and what I want to do is uh, build up the snow that is around um, the steps. And so, um, so I'm just applying it, like you can see, with the back of this paintbrush. Since this is a, um, very, very flat, um, the house is very, very flat. It's not very dimensional. I think that the snow really adds something to it. And I am gonna build up the snow around these candy canes right here so that it looks like they're actually stuck into the snow rather than um, glued onto the house. Giving, and this takes a long time to dry. It does take like overnight to dry. So you have plenty of time to fuss with it and work with it, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and then I really wanna add some additional snow up here onto the house. So I'm gonna put some on the turret, and then snow would typically go ahead and gather like on the eaves. So I'm gonna apply some of this snow right onto the eave of that house. Um, of that little dormer window. And then I'm also gonna do it over here on the sides. Definitely wanna build that up. And even underneath here, if you do it on one side, you gotta make sure you do it on the other side. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna probably put it over here too, like on the base of the turret as if it's a uh, gathering right here on the turret. I'm just gonna go around the house and, um, and snow up the edges here as to exactly where I think the snow might fall and linger. Okay, so you can see that I added a little bit more snow to this roof right here. And I also added it on the sides and over the dormer. And then even I'm putting some snow right here on um, on this little portico or this little eave of these little windows right over here. And I put it all around the roof as well. And then you're just going to take your glitter and you're just going to pour it over that and shake it off. So I'm gonna just start here on right here on the top and you can see I'm just gonna glitter this up. Okay, and tap it all off. And now you're just gonna leave that to dry. But this is how your, um, this is how this last one looks like um, as part of my gingerbread collection. This one. And I've got the gumdrop house too. Um, so all three are super, super sweet. 
and these are very easy and not very many supplies needed. And so um, I hope that you will try this yourself if you are looking for an inexpensive way to make some uh, fun gingerbread houses. All right, thank you so much for, um, for crafting with me today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.